This is the sink and draining board I made a couple of years ago for the kitchen. It's made of lots of overlapping sheets of metal. There's copper and brass and aluminium. It was an interesting idea and it looked pretty good in the beginning, but it just didn't work. Of course I knew that different metals erode when they're in close proximity, but I wasn't expecting it to happen so quickly. The aluminium especially is falling apart. So I'd better make a new draining board. Of course it's an odd shape because it curves around a corner. So it's going to need a large piece of copper sheet. Now it would be good to have a whole one but um, that would cost about 100 euro. So that's not going to happen. Luckily I have the remains of two copper water cylinders which I cut apart and stored but they're not wide enough so I'm going to need to join them together somehow. I start by rough cutting them to size and cleaning both sides with um, a flap disc. The plan is to solder the two pieces together but I think I need a folded joint, not just two pieces overlapping. Now I'm no expert, <laughs> but I know that I need to put flux in there or the solder won't stick to the copper. Then I knock the two folds together and flatten them with a wooden mallet. I did try heating a metal roller and trying that to melt the solder and keep it all squashed together. <laughs> but it just wasn't hot enough. So I applied the heat directly to the joint and allowed the solder to melt into it. In fact, it worked better with the sheet held vertically. It was a bit messy, but the solder flowed in to the joint and the sheets became firmly attached. Now, we don't have a dishwasher, so our draining board has a serious job to do. And it will only work if there's a way for the water to drain away under the bowls and the cups and everything. A flat sheet of copper would just trap the water inside the cups and bowls. So it needs to have bumps in it. Bring on the homemade bead roller. This is the bead roller from um, last week. The pair of dies are squeezed together from the top and then the handle turns them in opposite directions so the metal is drawn through leaving a bump because the dies squash the metal into a bump. And the trickiest thing was trying to keep the bump straight. We made two passes on each one, tightening the dies in between to make it easier. I imagine one could get quite good at this, but <laughs> in the meantime, this is going to have to do. Stop. That's all. 
wouldn't have did before. So. Okay, and cook. Well, it's quite curved, but um, there are little parallel bumps. Yeah. Now, the bead rolling stiffens the metal and leaves it in a twisted shape, which I just couldn't get to sit properly in position. So, what to do? I decided to anneal it, which just means heating it up to relax the metal and then letting it cool. And that really helped. It was much easier to flatten out afterwards. Unfortunately though, <laughs> no, it also melted the solder in the joint. Hmm. This would have been a whole lot easier with a big sheet of metal to start with. Never mind. Luckily the solder didn't all disappear and I was able to remelt it when the sheets were all fixed down. Um, of course it looked a bit messy, but I cleaned it with a mixture of salt and vinegar. And I think it will do. It's a bit funky. <laughs> but the, our whole house is a bit funky. And I must do a proper job one day around the top edges. But I'm busy planting thousands of garlic at the moment. So it's just going to have to wait. <laughs>